We try and make horse riding as safe as possible, but we're sharing our sport with a half a ton animal whose main defense mechanism is flight, to run away as fast as it possibly can. We protect ourselves with helmets, body protectors, and more of us are now using safety stirrups too. But there's another device that's just been launched that will not only protect the rider, but also the horse. Now this safety device I've been using for the last couple of months, I've been trialing it out, testing it. Now just like every time I ride a horse, I wear a helmet. This safety device I'm going to be using with my horses every time I ride now. Let me show you what it is. Here are my reins. Now they might look a little bit different to what you're used to because normally there's a buckle here when instead there's actually a quick release connector. Now these reins are by FR Vincitore and I actually talked to the founder, Laurie Williams, back in when I was in Germany for Spoga and I had a really good chat with her all about how these reins came about and the story behind them. So one day, Laurie saw this girl fall off her horse. Now, if you're in the equestrian community and you've been riding for a certain amount of time, you probably will fall off. I have fallen off more times than I can count on my fingers, more times than I can actually remember. I think I have actually lost count. Um, but anyways, she saw this little girl, she fell off and she actually fell through the reins and the reins got wrapped around her neck. Now you can imagine how awful of an accident that could be if that horse had bolted. She could have got dragged. She actually, I think, ended up getting burn marks around her neck because these reins had a buckle at the end. They weren't breaking. And that's how she came up with the idea that we really need to have some safety reins in place, not only for us riders, but also for the horses as well. You can imagine, this has definitely happened to me before. I've been on the bridle path of Casper. We've been galloping along. He's spooked at something. I've fallen off and because you know horses are flight animals when they're spooked they're gonna run and there has been a time where Casper has run across many fields it's also happened to me on a cross-country course as well where he's just bolted he's ran away without me and I feel like every equestrian when they see a horse bolt when they've got a bridle on especially if the reins go over their head everyone's just like oh my gosh oh my gosh please don't put your foot through the reins because obviously their leg could get tangled in that a horse could go down because of that um, also you know pulling on their mouth as well that could cause a severe injury to a horse's mouth especially if they have a bit in or even if they're in a bitless bridle um, or a hackamore you know that's going to put a lot of pressure on their nose as well which obviously we do not want for our horses so this is why I'm so passionate about talking about this as soon as I heard about this product because more people need to know and hopefully more people will use these reins and there'll be less accidents like this that happen so um, anyway that is the story behind them that is how they work but also I feel like with these reins a lot of people have lots of different questions especially about the connectors so um, when you look on the website you actually buy the reins depending on how much you weigh and that is because um, when you do fall off obviously if you do get your leg wrapped around the reins kind of know at what weight that they need to disconnect because I think a question also a lot of people have is will they just disconnect when I'm riding? Now I'm just gonna grab them now. Oh, my bridle is all, <laughs> all tangled, wait a sec. Um, but anyway, if you can imagine you're riding along, uh, I'm gonna pretend I have some very long reins here. You're riding along and um, when you pull the reins, obviously you kind of pull them back and forth. You never ever pull your reins like this, but even if for whatever reason you did, you know, I can't, I can't pull this apart. So that's the one thing you don't need to worry about is your reins just suddenly detaching when you're riding. Even if you're an eventer and you do drop fences, they've done lots of tests that even if you do a drop fence, you're all good because um, say for example, if somebody is 60 kilograms, you're probably not going to be pulling 60 kilograms in your horse's mouth. And if you are, you are, you are doing something very wrong with your horse management. But anyway, another question people ask is, for example, if maybe you have a martingale or a breastplate and you want to connect your reins to that, um, it's actually really easy. There's like a little twist and you just twist them to undo. So, and then you can just pop it back in make sure you twist it back in as well so it's nice and tight and then boom back on secure all good but when you really think about it there are so many different ways that your horse or you could accidentally get your reins caught in things for example if you're on a hack and you need to open a gate and your reins accidentally get tangled in the gate when you're trying opening it 
that could be an awful situation. For example, if you're show jumping and maybe the reins, you go over the horse's head, the reins go over too, that could get looped around maybe one of the jumps or maybe an arena fence if your horse breaks free. So there are so many different reasons like and different scenarios where these reins really could save not only you but also your horse so in today's vlog i'm going to be wearing them you can see them in action i'm going to be doing lots of different things today the plan is to take joey for a hack we're probably going to take him to the forest where there's lots of different terrain also there's lots of different like trees and branches so you know that's also something that reins could get caught on in a really horrible scenario um, but anyway, I'm gonna go and grab Joey now, get him ready, and then it's time to load him in the horse box and take him on a lovely hack. When we arrived at the forest, it was then time to get Joey out of the horse box. Also, our horse box is so dirty at the moment. I really need to give it a good old clean, so maybe I should do a horse box okay. spring cleaning video. Let me know in the go. comments if you would like to see that. Anyway, also, in today's video, we were also wearing the brand new beautiful apricot by Lemieux, because I know you guys always like to ask, what colour am I wearing? What colour my saddle pad is? Also, here Joey was a little bit spicy he was a little bit excited i literally just got on and he was raring and ready to go he's never naughty like he wasn't doing it in a naughty way he was just letting me know he was shaking his head about being like girl i want to go i want to go for a run so as soon as i got on him i was like okay let's go for a trot let's get this energy out of you because he was very excited very fresh especially as he'd been clipped like a few days before so um he was feeling very good in himself i also like to take this little sneaky cut through way through the woods there because it was so muddy luckily a lot of this area of the woods is actually um sandstone or in the forest also we're coming up to a really big puddle here so as we were cantering along i was like joey we're just gonna have to go forward so he did this massive leap over as you can see i even kind of like folded as if i was jumping a jump it basically felt like i was jumping a ditch cross country um so here we managed to get a proper good blast got some energy out of him although there are like little puddles here and there the ground here was actually really good as a support it's on sandstone so it's a little bit more solid which is great because especially all the hacking like very close to where i am where i'm not in the horse box we're on clay so it gets so muddy here we had a little bit of a walk because we were coming up to a junction also coming up to a, another very muddy bit carried on having a little bit of a trot along i was also really proud of joey on this particular day because it's not that often that we actually go hacking completely solo on our own a lot of the time we're either hacking with a friend or a lot of the time like my parents or my family come along with me on a hack um, a lot of the time my dad goes on his bike with us we also went down this really steep hill so joey was very good going down there um, but yeah and sometimes when i take joey on a hack on his own because we don't do it that often normally he has somebody with him to protect him against all the i don't know monsters that are in the hedges or in the bushes um, but he was very good here he is canter was a little bit slower he definitely had lost a bit of his steam and energy especially he knew like horses have such good sense direction he knew that we were going like further away from where the car park is and where the horse box is when here he was a little bit more forward because he knew that he was on his way home he was going towards the horse box the ground here was also good so we did have like a proper good blast here we had a little bit of a spook at a puddle or it's almost like a little mini pond there because often it is quite wet there so he had a bit of a look at that but overall i was so proud of him you can probably hear me say good boy a million times in this video but i was just so proud all right everybody joey and i are back from our hack i feel like we were a little bit brave today because it's my first like hack out or trip out actually the first time i've like probably ridden joey since he's been clipped he had a day off yesterday um so he was feeling a little bit fresh but he was actually like he was fresh but really well behaved he just wanted to go out he just wanted to go and have a canter so that's what we did he had an absolute blast but no he was really good he really listened to me um i don't normally like go for a full-on blast around here and he loved it and he was so brave and bold sometimes and we went on a little bit of a different route and he was actually really brave like a lot of the time he can be a little bit spooky he jumped over some puddles that was one puddle where he did a massive leap but anyway well done joey very well behaved and anyway i will see you guys tomorrow because we have a jumping lesson we're starting to jump a little bit bigger again after his injuries so that is amazing so hopefully he is a good boy tomorrow as well see you tomorrow good man should we get your travel boots on mister 
Welcome to the next day where Joey and I had our jumping lesson. Of course, at the beginning of the session, we warm up and then we did a little course of jumps, really working on Joey's canter, making sure that he's got a good rhythm, that he's nice and straight. And then we started to put the jumps up a little bit and on our course, um, Joey really started to use themselves, looking really good. And so far, we're really happy with how his jumping is progressing, especially as to start with, when we first brought him back into jumping, we were a little bit rusty, so we've been trying to neaten everything up. However, I'm really happy with how he's going. I also hope that you've enjoyed seeing us in action with our new safety reins. It's really exciting that there's this new technology that not only protects the rider, but also the horse as well. And I really encourage you guys to go and check them out. So anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!